Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Come along and let me show you how I did this cute design. In this video, we are going to be using TechWrap's heat transfer paper for dark fabrics. Now, don't let this fool you. You can use this in dark or light fabrics. So this is the updated version of their previous inkjet heat transfer paper. And the improvements on this version is that it's now more durable. It prints more vividly, can be used on both dark or light fabrics, and it's stretchable. So it comes with 15 sheets. It's an A4 size. You can also purchase separately the heat transfer mask, which you use this usually when you have a design of separate pieces and instead of picking each piece and placing it down and ironing it on this mask acts like a transfer sheet or like the liner that you have on your um, heat transfer vinyl so let's go prepare our design and print something cute so i was hunting left and right online to find the font for um, the lol surprise dolls However, I couldn't find it, but I did find this nifty website that actually has so many cartoon fonts and it's an online generator. So you don't have to download the font, install it into your um, computer and then use it. You can just put whatever name or sentence or phrase that you're using uh, that you need and you get to generate it and then you can just download it. Now I'll show you the several um, options which are in the free version. I'm using the free version so it is a bit limited but still it did the job that I needed. Um, maybe in the future I would uh, get the premium. So let me just show you. So what I wanted to use is the lol uh, surprise font and as you can see some of them here have this crown and this basically means that it's a premium it's for the premium uh, subscription so if you can see this is toy stories font this is brats hot wheels um, barbie that's for you also so let me show you how this works so basically i'm going to be designing um, the name sarah so this is how it looks like now i want to download this and iron it onto a tote bag. So I don't need the background, I don't want these shadows. So what I'm gonna do is you get all these um, options here to personalize it however way you want. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to styles over here and then I'm going to go to um, shadows because I don't want this shadow over there. And you see it's clicked over here, I'm just going to remove that shadow. Do you see that? It's this shadow over here, okay? Icons, there are no icons here, so that's okay. Background, definitely remove the background because I want to download this as a PNG. And there's no animation and I'm going to download it. So here again, we come into um, whether you want to get the premium or not. I use the free version, like I said, so I'm going to download it at the medium PNG transparent. Now, if you had the um, premium, a subscription you can download it in high resolution the quality basically or max honestly the medium was perfect for me so just click on PNG transparent and over here click on download okay and now my file downloaded now let me go to illustrator and assemble the design with a cute little doll okay so once in Illustrator, what I did is, so this is basically a PNG, which means it has a transparent background, as you can see. So I'm just going to put this doll right next to it over here. And I'm going to export this as a PNG and take it into design space and start cutting our design. All right, once you are in design space, we're going to click on upload, upload image and browse. Now locate your file in whichever folder that you have it. Now usually Design Space will tell you if your PNG is um, low quality, so I'm just going to click on complex as I always do, click on apply and then choose print and cut image and upload. Okay, choose your design, click add to canvas,
and here is our design. Now, as you can see, it gives this warning over here, which says low resolution, but this will work fine for the project that I am doing. So I'm just going to size it to the size that I want, which is around 7.5 inches, or actually let's do eight, okay? And then I'm going to click on make it. Okay, so for this inkjet transfer paper, you do not need to mirror your design. Make sure that your material settings are the correct ones. And these um, inkjet transfer paper are A4. Okay, so then click on continue. Then I'm going to click on send to printer. And I always like to keep the bleed on if I don't have a white um, outline. So I'm just going to keep that. And I also like to use the system dialog. So I'm going to click on this, click on print. Now, sometimes you would wonder where is this system dialog? And what happens is it shows behind your Cricut Design Space window. So just keep note of that. So the paper has a very velvety, soft, matte feel to it. And the logo is at the back to differentiate between the two sides. Okay, so let's start printing. So the colors are absolutely vibrant, as you can see. And those gray shades on the side are the bleed that I kept on um, from the Cricut software. And the printer that I use is a Canon PIXMA G3400, in case you are wondering. Okay, and once we printed the design, I'm going to go into Browse All Materials, and I'm going to type printable and search. So I'm looking for printable vinyls, and I'm going to choose the printable vinyl white gray liner printing okay so just click on that now let's go and cut our design I'm actually regretting that I print only a small design because I'm wasting all this space. However, I'm not going to uh, throw this away because you can actually use crayons on this and then iron it onto your um, fabric or um, t-shirts, caps, and so on. So, and also you don't need, you don't always need a cutting machine to use heat transfer paper. So I'm going to cut this and save it aside and then you can draw any doodles or illustrations with your crayon and iron them on. Okay, so let's cut this piece. Actually, let me get really close. And save all this. fairly easy okay now because this is two pieces I'm going to be using the heat transfer mask okay and it shows you where the back side is so you just peel that off actually I'm just going to cut a piece so that we don't use and waste all of this I think that's about enough. Now, you know which is the side that you put down on your design because it's the sticky side. So when you peel this off, this is the sticky side and this isn't. So you place your sticky side down on your the 
design. All right, and then you simply peel off the backing paper. So simple. Okay, now let's prep our tote bag. And I'm going to be using my Cricut Easy Press. And the temperature that TechRap recommends is 165 Celsius, which comes up to 329 Fahrenheit. So my machine will go up to it will round the numbers, so I can't see there's a glare. I'm gonna make it 330. There we go. And the seconds are 25 seconds, so let me increase that. Okay, I'm gonna wait until this heats up. Now also, um, TechRap includes parchment paper inside of the package. So if you were not using the heat transfer mask, you use the parchment paper on top of your design. Okay, now let's prep our tote bag. And please note these important tips. One of them is always lint roll your item because those little pesky lints could make your design peel off later on. And second, and that is really recommended by TechRap, is always preheat your item because any trap moisture could actually affect how much durable your design will be. Okay, so let's just make a pre-press. And then let me center my design okay that seems good now let's press firm pressure and peel off Now, this is just a personal preference, but for me, whether I'm doing HTV or inkjet transfer paper, I always like to press again with a Teflon sheet on top, but that's just me. How gorgeous that is. Now I need to calibrate my Cricut, that's why you see this offset over here, so I'm going to do that next time. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you give this material a try. It is really versatile and it's amazing to work with and quite easy. I'm sure you will love it. Alright you guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.